Hello there, my name is Riley Brown, and I'm going to be presenting another computational geometry program. This one I like to call the Garden Problem Tool, and it's used for solving specific instances of the art gallery problem. Specifically, it's useful for perfect polygons, those that have the same guarding and witness number, because we're able to use the squeeze theorem in order to determine that those things are the same. So first we're going to put in a polygon. It works just like the Kirkpatrick method and it starts right back from where we left off after we remove some points. We hit continue. Uh, so we have our polygon inputted. Now we want to try and find a maxable set of independent witness points. So in order to do that we want to try and put them out to sort of disparate parts of the polygon. I don't think we're going to be able to get a third into this one. So we know from this, since we have a maximal set of independent witness points, if we try we're not going to get it. If we try over here, if we try outside it's also going to give us that same error message. So we know it's just going to be those two. If it's an invalid point it's not going to part, count it as part of the um, witness uh, set. So we could just hit continue even if we have an erroneous point lying around. And it's going to keep us at 2 for the, uh, for the witness number. Well, the, what the, a lower bound for the witness number is what I should say. Because if we had put a 1 in there, it would also carry us to this next step with a 1. So we don't know what the witness number is, but we know it's greater than 2, or equal to 2, as it will almost definitely turn out to be. So now we're trying to find a guard for the polygon. So we want to try and get it and as few, we want to have a minimal guarding. So I'm going to try and match it so that it's along this line and probably over here as much as possible. Maybe a little bit to the right. There we go. And then one over here should be able to cover the rest. As we can see, we've got the whole entire shape covered. It's entirely green. We got the little lines overlapping. So we're golden. As long as we've made sure that the whole polygon, polygon is green, then the tool has ascertained for us that the guarding number of this polygon is two. Now. Similarly though, if we managed, if we put another one over here, it's still going to tell us as long as the whole polygon is green. Because the, the, the detection for whether the whole entire polygon is green wouldn't necessarily be perfect considering the how exact we're able to be with, um, uh, the, within Java. So I decided to just keep it as is. Hopefully, in a future version, I will be able to uh, leave it not up for <laughs> interpretation. But with respect to any reasonable um, problem that will be given to students, hopefully that's what this would be most likely used for. I wouldn't describe it as rigorous enough for anything other than a homework tool to try and help uh, students understand the problem and this specific approach to it. Um, but hopefully this demonstrates the art gallery problem in two dimensions and how to use the squeeze theorem in order to determine the um, witness number and, and, and guarding number for inputted polygons. So hopefully that helped everybody understand and hope everyone has a great day.